Okay, so now that you have a story plan and you've practiced writing some conversation, it's time to start drafting. Since you're writing a longer story, um, or if you're taking an older story and kind of revamping it, it can be a little bit overwhelming because there's so many different parts that go into a story. So what I want you to focus on for today is to just write a strong opening for your story. Now keep in mind, if you're not sure what to do, I'm trying to link the videos right before you start. So if you are stuck or you forget, just go hit the link and listen to what I have to say. So a lot of times when students start a story, what they end up going with is what they're familiar with, which is either once upon a time or the number one favorite one day. Those are openings, but we want to try to grab the reader's attention. So the, the style that I would like you to try are one of these three openings uh, for your story. Um, I want you to start either with some conversation, since we just practiced that. I'd like you to start with uh, some sort of action um, or uh, a sound. And any of those three will grab the reader's attention and really get them to pay attention to your writing as you go. So we want to try to indent. So I'm going to go in five times. And if I was starting with some conversation for my story, we just practiced that yesterday. Uh, so maybe I'll have uh, one of the characters talking. Uh, Peter, please take shining pearl over the mountain and spy on the pirates to see what they are up to. Okay. Now, you might be able to take a guess as to who is saying that based upon the fact that the person's talking about Shining Pearl, but I haven't told you, so I have to include that tagline. Um, it is Fighting Prawn. Fighting Prawn said to Peter, even though you can't see that. Okay. So what this does is instead of one day, is it grabs the reader's attention, uh, it makes you start wondering why are they going over the mountain, why do they need to spy on the pirates. Um, and it's a really strong opening. And then you can kind of go into your regular story. Peter went over to the hut and got, you know, and go on that way. That's one way to do a story opening. Um, if I was going to do the same thing, but I was going to do it with uh, perhaps a sound and said, Onk. went the conch shell as fighting prawn sounded the alarm. Okay. Now, again, we don't know why, but it's grabbing the reader's attention. It's making you say, well, we know they only sound that alarm on special occasions, what's going on, and it gets you interested in the story right away. If you have things misspelled, don't worry about it. We'll take care of that during editing. Okay. And um, the last would be an action. And you could be start something like, um, Pierce Clam sprinted into the village to find his father and deliver the bad news. Okay. Same thing. Grabs the reader's attention, makes you wonder why is he running into the village. You can picture him doing that. And so those are three really strong openings. This is hard stuff. So again, I don't expect you to write your entire draft in one day. I only want you to spend about 20 minutes working, try to get a good opening on your story. And that way we can keep building tomorrow. Now, when you come back on Thursday to work, you'll hopefully have your opening done here. And then what I want you to do is to keep working on your draft from the day before. Remember, you have your story outline of what's going to happen in your story. You can put your conversation in your story. I think that's a good idea. And you can also use anything from last week, description or things like that. Again, the nice thing about writing is you're pushing yourself to do what you are capable of. So I'm not looking for a set amount of words. I want to see that you put some time into it. Um, to make yourself become a better writer, which I know you all will do. So keep up the great work.